welcome back welcome back to another video on my channel Wilco Wild I'm Ben for those of you who don't know and today we are out in the glorious woodland again so today I've brought the canvas tent out with no log burner or anything like that I'm gonna have a nice big campfire tonight and keep it going uh, probably till around midnight um, stick make sure you stick around today because I'm going to have two surprises for you later uh, and one of them I think you'll be very interested in so uh, yeah stick around for that um, as you've seen from the drone footage we have had a bit of snow over the last two days um, so it's still hanging on to the tops of the trees uh, and in the farm fields but it's, uh, it's kind of all thawed out in the actual woodland here um, which is a shame because I'd love to get a, a snow proper snow camping but I'm sure there'll be more to come so yeah uh, it's gave minus one this evening, uh, dropping down to about minus two through the night, so I should be fine with my setup. I've got the uh, Alpkit bivvy and I've got my sleeping bag in there. It's a four season bag, but it's not the best four season bag, um, hence the bivvy. I've also adapted a half inner tent uh, from another tent that I had at home. Uh, just adapted that to make it fit the uh, canvas tent here, which is actually called the Polish Lavu, as I'm sure a lot of you all know. But yeah, it's uh, like I say, a couple of surprises for you later. I'm going to crack on getting some more wood processed up now, so I can get a fire going. Because um, I've got a sausage casserole to cook today, and hopefully I won't drop my dinner this time like I did in the last uh, camp. I'm sure you you had a good. Uh, a good giggle at me for that but yeah i'm gonna crack on getting some more wood ready and i'll uh, i'll check back in with you later Okay, so I'm just using the last of my fast fat wood stock now. So I'll be needing to go back out and uh, harvest some more of that soon. Especially with the uh, bad weather setting in now. Okay, so the plan was today to use the new uh, carbon steel striker and the English Flintstone, but good old Ben's gone and forgot the char cloth again. So we're not doing that. So back to the ferro rod. If it'll go. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna get them fat wood shavings on first. Just gonna slowly put the curls on or the quavers, as I like to call them. Put another one here so we don't smother the fire and get them going I shouldn't really be cutting on this uh, Dutch oven, but I forgot my chopping board. Another thing I forgot. So I'll uh, just take it easy. Let's try and 
split them on here. So I don't want to damage the surface of that. I've also got our sausages. So some nice big chunks. Let's try not to scratch that Dutch oven. Get the sausages in. Couple of stocks in. Not the foil. Just going right up to start with. Good to go. Lid on. Try and put in place. Right, dinner's cooking, wood's processed, so it's time to get down to business. And the business is, I'm doing a giveaway. And the giveaway is because the channel has hit 500 subscribers. And I'm absolutely gobsmacked, honestly. Thank you so much to anybody who's viewed my videos or anybody who's hit the subscribe button, it means a lot. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, so yeah. I thought I'd give something back to you and that something is going to be a One Tigris Smoky Hut Ultralight Hot Tent. Um, I used it in a video about a year ago, uh, that should, should be on the channel somewhere so. But I will also roll a bit of footage of it now because I took it out yesterday to do a little uh, review on it uh, before it goes. So uh, yeah I'll roll that footage now for you and you can have a look at it. And to enter. All you've got to do is comment on this video. Nice little, well, nice unique comment. Um, and then I'll do a comment, random comment picker uh, next week to draw the winner. Um, and I will, I will uh, announce the winner on next week's video. So that'll be on the Thursday. I always put, I've tried to put my videos, my camping videos out on a Thursday evening at about 6 p.m. So uh, you'll find out then. So good luck to all of you. Um, and again, honestly, thank you so much, uh, it really means a lot. So yeah, let's carry on camping and I'll check back in with you later because I've got another little surprise for you. We're losing a bit of light now so uh, we might have to switch to the head torches soon. Um, but the fire will keep us lit anyway. So I'll check back in later.
Ooh. Right, I've had my dinner. Absolutely bang on. I was I basically licked the plate. <laughs> it wasn't nice. We were cooking for about three hours, so all the taste just kind of oh. You'll know what I mean if you've done it before. Um, why have I got an old-fashioned candle holder and candle, you ask? Because I'm weird, that's why. Sometimes I walk around the house at home with this at night. Wife, uh, <laughs> wife thinks I'm a right weirdo, but I enjoy it. I enjoy living uh, how they used to live. It makes you um, appreciate things in the modern world a bit more. So yeah, I'm, um, I'm going to shift that tripod out of the way now and get this fire stoked up so I can show you my next surprise. A little, uh, no, I'm not going to tell you. I'll see you in a minute. Right then folks, let's do it. Here's your second surprise. I'd just like to say, I, I wish you all a very happy new year and a very prosperous one. But what I didn't tell you is I'm also a wizard. Let's go for it, cast your spell. Happy new year guys. Let's celebrate with a good old old goblin IPA. Cheers. Magical, mystical fire. Right, I'm gonna sit and chill by the fire, let all that burn out, finish my beer, and then I'm gonna turn in for the night. So this is me signing off for the night, and I'll uh, gonna cook up a bit of breakfast in the morning using a uh, new bit of kit I've got. So I'm excited to try that out. But yeah, I shall see you in the morning. Good night.
Morning. Right, a few little things to report on last night. One was getting woke up by something uh, thudding outside. And I heard it, I, ha I even had the earplugs in and I still heard it. I think what it was, I think it was a deer running running straight past the tent. I think that's what the, cause it kind of, I felt the vibration in the ground as well. So I think that's what it was. Uh, secondly, really bad night's sleep very very cold in that sleeping setup so i think i'm in the market for a new sleeping bag because that is a pretty cheap four season bag it states that the comfort level is minus one but not a chance not a chance i, I had the alp kit bivet around that last night and <clears throat> i was still cold and it was what i think it got to minus three at about two three o'clock in the morning um still hovering under zero now but crap um it's the oex phantom 400 evo i think um i've used it a few times through the winter and always struggle to keep warm at night so i'll be in the uh, yeah definitely getting a new bag i've had my eye on eye on one for a while anyway so i'm sure you'll see that soon maybe in the next video uh but yeah, apart from that, everything was all right. Got up early doors, as you've, as you've seen with my alarm. And it's now about 10 to seven and it's still no sign of the sun. So I think sunrise is about half past eight this time of year around here. So yeah, I've just had my breakfast, as you've seen. The, I brought the Diablo iron out and really good little snack maker. You can make all sorts in it. Um, but today I had the ham and cheese toasties and they were delicious so anyway without babbling on I'm going to get uh, camp tidied up and head out of here so as always thanks for watching I do a little bit of filming on the way out but not much um, and uh, another big thank you for all the subscribers for reaching 500 really means a lot happy new year tomorrow guys i think it's tomorrow yeah and that's it see you on the next one thanks for watching LMT